Hello, welcome to Oscar Modeling's uh, unboxing of the German battleship Scharnhorst. This is a 1700 model, and uh, it's one of Germany's most successful battleships. So let's uh, open this up and have a look. See, I haven't opened this at all yet. Now, this came from b &A models. Very good supplier of models and very popular here and around the world. Yeah. Okay, so. Box there. And inside. All right. Oh, what have we got here? So this is a model by Flyhawk. It's the first time I've built a model by Flyhawk. In fact, this will be the first uh, 1700 scale model I've built. It's quite a heavy box, though. Yeah. Um, I also bought the uh, the wood decking for this model. As you can see. That looks quite good. Just, yeah. So that's good. Um, Good. Um, okay, so this uh, kit is a, a deluxe edition. It comes with bonus photo etch and uh, brass parts. Uh, yeah, and, uh, let's have a look inside here. this looks like a bit of a history of the ship here um, so this was uh, says here it was launched in October 1936 uh, finally being completed on January 7, 1939. Uh, I had problems testing during testing. Uh, it's seen quite a few ships. It was Germany's most successful uh, battle cruiser. I've got a number of ships here that have sank. And it managed to cross through the English Channel. And, uh, it was finally sunk when a shell hit the boiler room from the HMS Dutch uh, Duke of York, uh, where she was caught up by that affected the speed. Where she was caught up by Navy destroyers and hit by several torpedoes. Uh, it doesn't say it here, but only 36 crewmen were rescued, but I'm sure there was a crew of over two, of about 2,000. It always amazed me the number of deaths on these ships. 
I guess there's nowhere to run, is there? So that looks quite good. That might look nice next to the model. Uh, let's see. So we also have instructions here. Looks like there's a few little bits and pieces that will need removing. And, uh, interesting layout. Oh, I see. Going through all the different steps here. Bring everything together. Uh, got lifeboats on here. We've got the funnel. We've got superstructure. Earlier was the hull. Oh, and there's turrets on there to be done. Uh, anchor, chains, set up. Uh, more of the superstructure all on here. Mast. We've got all the paint colours here, so... It's a light grey, medium grey. They show the Mr. Hobby, Tamiya, and Tamiya. Toads for the colours is quite a few. Got colours there for the lifeboats. Got masking for the sticker on the front and rear of the ship. Painting. There's a couple of float planes look good. They look a bit Nice large in the picture, but I'm sure they're quite tiny in reality for the kit. That's all right. Now, these, I'll just bring the camera down a little bit closer. We can get a better view. One second. Okay, that should be better. All right, so let's have a look. We've got, uh, what have we got? Okay, some propellers in there, some bits for the decking, uh, some aerials in there, very tiny considering current model of building is 200 scale, <laughs> quite the tiny energy turrets are on there. Uh, not sure what those are. There's oh, there's some the barrels for the turrets there. Very interesting. Uh, what else? Do we, some of the other guns that go on the deck. Very, very tiny stuff, but very detailed too. I can see all the rivets and all the lines in there. That looks like, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> it's the smoke stack there, top of it. Very, very tiny. Oh, it gets smaller. Now we got uh, some more aerials and must be a boom to go on there somewhere. Uh, capstans. Very tiny stuff there. Look at that. Uh, here we got more pieces. And lifeboats in there. We've got smaller lifeboats in there. <laughs> See, I'm going to need a much smaller paintbrush. Touching up some of this stuff. Uh, some more uh, gun barrels there. Some turrets on there as well. Going. 
So it's a boring superstructure there. And it's windows and stuff. Detail in that. Tiny little portholes. Amazing how small that is. I don't think I'll be drilling out those portholes. <laughs> uh, here. Well, uh, there's some tiny guns in there as well. Very tiny guns. Quite a lot of screws here. Um, lots and lots of pieces. Looks like some of the... I don't even know what those are. <laughs> Uh, there's some more tiny bits there too. Incredibly small. Okay. Right here. Right up. Yeah, some more superstructure sections in there. Wow, we've got some clear plastic in there. That may be a cockpit for the aircraft. That in the box. And we have the hull wrapped up quite safely. Let's have a look at this. This nice grey top deck there. Can't see, but there's a, quite a bit of detail in that too. It's very nice. Oh, I see. There's another piece in there. So it comes off there. That. Now I could could possibly drill out those portholes. We'll see. Seems to be a centerpiece in there. Oh, I see. Okay, so I did build a 1350 scale uh, I-400 submarine that was quite small. And this looks like the section where they have a piece of metal lead yeah here it is in the box so uh, this here is a weight just a bit of weight to it that'll go in there so it's the weight so there's the hull excuse me so we got the hull here it seems to already have the braces in there for support It's a bit of a seam line through there. It'll have to be sanded back. That's interesting what goes on there. Must be part of the front. So yeah. It's the hull. That side. Uh, the weight saw is so we saw that. Now here we have decals. It's a mask. Masking there. A little bit of photo etch in there. 
don't know what that's for, but there's, there's actually two pieces of photo etch in there. Good. And now we have more photo etch. So here we have, uh, what do they say? Oh, okay. So this looks like part of the smokestack. Um, see that. There's some railings in there as well. Some crane area parts. I see some ladders and uh, stairways in there. See if I can how they connected up. Staple Valley. Yeah. Just give me a sec, I'll come back and get these staples out. So, so yeah, so that was the first one. Good. And we've got another piece here with Lots of railings on there, there's propellers. Uh, looks like, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's so tiny. And then on the other side, we've got uh, an extra little piece in there. Not sure what that is. Um, there's instructions in this one. This one has the metal parts, so it looks like gun barrels and parts of the mast and uh, lots of other very, very tiny stuff. So I'd like to get this one open to see these instructions. I don't know what that is in there. It's a special piece on its own. Just take that out. Down the front where I can see it. Maybe not. Lost the camera, I mean. One moment. Okay, so I've found the instructions here. And, uh, Pages of different parts to build on the kit there. Uh, it's like a catapult there, some cranes, some areas of the superstructure. That's going to need stuff that must be color coded enough to figure out what that means. smokestack there has got quite a bit on it as well uh, the lifeboats have photo etch really oh gosh how tiny will that be uh, there's railings around the top of the superstructure it looks like there hose reels need those uh, we go on to the mast Quite a few bits as usual. Make the mast up there. There's some guns, barrels where they go. The turrets were there. Uh, you know, there's photo edge on the aircraft. Quite a bit. I didn't even see. Did I see the aircraft in the mast set? Must be there somewhere. And. Uh, Showing it looks like the railings around the actual ship itself. So yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Uh, okay, so there all the flight, all the photo which 
to this along with the brass parts. Something in Chinese. And, uh, just the usual water sticker. And I thought I'd just do a bit of a comparison here to get an idea of the scale. So here we have a turret that goes on board this battleship. Uh, and the right way around. So there's that turret. And let's put that alongside the 1200 scale Arizona that I'm currently building. There it is there. So yeah i'd say that the length of this turret with the guns with the barrels is probably about let's have a look at the ship itself there's the ship yeah it's about a third of the length of the ship just in the turret <laughs> Yes, I have to polish my magnifying glasses and sharpen the tweezers for this kit. <laughs> oh, they're there somewhere. All the lifeboats are in there. Anyway, good. All right, well, there you go. So that's the uh, Charnhorst. Um, as it, it'll be built as it was in 1943. Um, I'm currently finishing on the Arizona at the moment. But I will be building this and videoing uh, each stage of the build. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow on with that, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell there and get notified of when the videos come out. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, tips, hints, anything, just put it in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I'll, hopefully I'll see you in the... The build of the um, 1700 channels. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.